We are a German Shepherd rescue, rehabilitation, and rehoming family dedicated to saving as many German Shepherds as possible. We are successful because we bring our recruits back to their natural pack mentality and family values, not ours. Our goal in videotaping our successes as well as our failures is to educate the public on what makes a German Shepherd do what they do. We do this by living the packway with up to 14 Shepherds in our home every day. We are Misfit Shepherds. If you have questions about your Shepherd's needs, contact us through Misfit Shepherds on Facebook and YouTube. Ranger. Ranger. Grizz. One of the biggest questions we've been, uh, hey, Ranger, coming up with is how to control a dog that is uncontrollable. Usually it's that puppy stage, somewhere around 10 months, where the dog actually starts getting some size and it becomes a little harder to hold the dog down. When it's before 10 months, it's a puppy. You can literally step on the leash, you're fine. Now that they're getting bigger and bigger, they're getting a little difficult to control. So that's what this video is all about. The many, many uses of this $17 snout harness. Uh, whether you're taming a crazy dog for the day, uh, you're going for a walk, you don't like them pulling on you. If you have a heartworm dog that you have to control all the time, it's an awesome use for that. We also use these inside the house when we need to, to control that uncontrollable dog. So again, we're working on the uncontrollable dog. I actually kept him in the crate one extra hour today for their nap time to make them a little nuts. And the point of that is to show you how the snout harness absolutely controls even the uncontrolled animal. So we're taking one of the toughest dogs we have and we're putting a snout harness on him, Grizz. And we're putting the dog in total check. Anywhere I want, anything I want him to do. Sit. Sit. Good. As soon as I take it off, he's going to be a nut job again. Guess who's next? Good job, Ranger. Grizz, three times I had to call him for him to come to me. You, you know this is going to be fun. He knows what this is. He doesn't like it. He actually just got off the snout harness. He's without a leash. He's correction collar trained now, and he's actually an awesome dog. But during these times when he's first getting up and getting out, he's very uncontrollable. So we've taken and we put the snout harness on him and we're able to control him. We're able to move him anywhere we want him to go. He can't go anywhere. If he tries to, if he tries to go anywhere, pulling back on this turns the head back and away from whatever interests them. So you're not only changing body position, you're changing mind. That's the genius behind the snout harness. Normal snout harness, when it's being used, is open. Open your mouth, big boy. Come here. They have plenty of room to open their mouth. They have plenty of room to pant. They have plenty of room to drink water. You can probably even feed them treats and such. Uh, however, if this was an aggressive dog and you were walking it, and all of a sudden it tried to start biting you or something to that effect, all you'd have to do is lift up and it pinches the entire mouth closed the way it goes through the ring. This particular one actually has a lock that goes all the way down and you can actually turn the snout harness into a muzzle if you had to. 
He's an awesome sport for letting me do all that to him. If you hold this properly, it goes over the snout, around the back of the head, clip it together, and it's on. You can use it as a simple suggestion, just very little weight to it to bring him back to where you're going. Or if he was out and out running for a problem, you can use it harshly and pull him back any direction you need to go. All right, so I'm giving him a minute or two to calm down, giving me a minute or two to regroup. I'm not going to trust him anymore outside of this crate unless he's got a snout harness on. He's got to show me a couple few days of no resistance before I let him out of there again without a snout harness. So. Good boy, Luca. Good boy. Good job. Good. Do you hear the whine? I want to come out. I want to play. That's what that is. That's what that whine is. Yeah, I want that. Yeah. Change the mind. Change the mind. Let the pack do it for you. Luca, back over here. Try it again. Good. Nice and easy. Come. No. Okay. So now with the snout harness on, we can lock these mouths up. We don't have to worry about the mouth as much. I can relax, he can relax, he can relax, and it makes a better environment. Now, he's kind of fighting the snout harness a little. I'm giving no energy to this. I'm rubber band arming this, that's all I'm doing. Like that. Good. That's a boy. And all is forgotten except for the knowledge that he could every once in a while, when he's tired, act very difficult. I'm able to read how far I can push him without pushing him so far over the line that he feels as though the only response he has is to fight back. I don't want that. Doing an awesome job. You are, you're doing an awesome job. You're a good boy. No. Over. Over. Not sure who growled there. I think it was him. That's what makes up the Over. pack. Now he's pushing up against me. I'm not going to let him do that. I'm not going to let him do that. That's an ownership thing. So that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So come on. Lay down. That'll ah, boy. Good. So I just actually held his mouth shut so he had no choice. Stop. Good. And then he rolled over. He's no problem. As soon as he rolled over and went on his side, I let his mouth go. This is an awesome safety for this kind of training. Now I can be more confident working with the dog. I don't have to be concerned about working with a dog that has a history. I can do it with some of the pack out here and I can do it safely. It's there, guys. Loon is trying to teach him how to play, but he's not quite sure how to play yet. Uh, Boomer, 
Take it easy, boy. Boomer, take it easy. No. That was a growl. This is play talk. He doesn't know these things. He has never been taught these things. No. See the ears go back? No. No. Luna, up. Luna, up. He doesn't know these are playthings. Luna. He's been watching for a little while. Kind of. He's on the level of he can. No. 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 Awesome thing about these. Slide the clip up. Lock it down. And it keeps the mouth closed. So now I'm going to let him go through this without the ability of using his mouth at all. No. Stop. No. Hey, Yogi. Yogi. Do a real baby talk, a real mommy baby talk. Get her riled up. Come here, Dixie. Come on, baby girl. Come on. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you excited? Huh? Are you excited? What's right, up, good. baby? Now go to the stop sign. Oh, hold on a second. Let's. Good. Awesome difference between approaching her calm yeah. as opposed to approaching her high energy, yeah. baby talk, so on. Big difference. Go ahead, approach her one more time. She's calm. There's no tension on the snout harness at all. In fact, you can't get any calmer than that. It's perfect. Now, as you can see, she's not too happy about the snout harness here. But she's getting over it. She's kind of taking it off. She's taking in the house. She's looking at everything at once. No, that's not allowed. So we teach that right away. And that's all we're doing is we're showing lines. No, no. Down. 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 There's a reason why I kept Luna from day one. She was showing me things and she's already taken a liking to Dixie. So we're gonna work that. And I'm gonna have a snout harness on the puppy. 
No. It's okay, Luna. So, puppy, as I thought would happen, is very, very excited. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna arrange this meeting more on a belly level. Puppy's not gonna like it at first. In fact, she's a little jumping theme. Luna, why don't you lay down for me? Luna, why don't you lay down, good girl? So we're just gonna let Puppy squirm away for a minute. Luna could do her investigation. Nobody here is aggressive. Baby just wants to play. It's okay, Luna. Luna, Luna, Luna. Just trying to show how we allow her to socialize amongst the other dogs and keep her away from the water at the same time or anything else we want to keep her away from. This is how I can let her wander pretty far but yet still have my control over that mouth. Drawing lines. That's all we're doing here is we're drawing lines. 